The West is failing to get to grips with Russian hacking and fake news, the Latvian foreign minister, Edgars Rinkovics, has said. Speaking on a visit to London, Rinkovic said there was increasing evidence that Russia was automating disinformation on social media, pointing to new NATO-sponsored research showing more than five times the number of Russian-language tweets sent in. Latvia concerning NATO came from bots, instead of from individuals. The figure in Estonia was nine times as many. He described the tactic as very systematic and a new way to spread propaganda. Amongst young people, he urged U.S. Congress to press ahead with its inquiry into Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election, saying, it is essential for all U.S. allies to understand the mechanics of how you combine cyber attack and then use it as an information weapon to influence people's opinions. Rinkovic said, if you have hacking, fake news with a purpose, it is very difficult to react. We can find out what happened, but it is very difficult to prove. The whole law in this area needs addressing. Rinkovic was attending a new joint Nordic-Baltic UK forum of eight foreign ministers in London that was convened by the UK Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, the first such meeting to be held at foreign ministers' level. He denied the meeting was designed to coordinate Brexit strategy among nations historically sympathetic to Britain, saying the EU negotiating position remained united. He said he would like to see the UK remain involved in EU foreign and defence policy after Brexit, but said the precise mechanism remained to be discussed. Johnson stressed Britain's continuing role in NATO, as well as its leading military role sending 800 troops to lead a battle group in Estonia designed to deter Russian aggression in the region. Russia readies for huge military exercises as tensions with West Simmer read more the London meeting comes as a large Russian military exercise on Europe's eastern flank is about to take place. Russia claims the Zapad 17 exercise will include just over 10,000 troops, with only 3,000 of those entering Belarus to help the Belarus army quell an imaginary separatist uprising supported by NATO member countries.